this Sunday morning. My name's Chris, I'm one of the leaders here, and I'm going to be taking our service this morning. Uh, sadly, Claire can't be with us today um, due to her family bereavement, and so we'll be including Claire and the family later on in our time of prayer. Thankfully, Claire's a lot more organised than I am, and she'd already planned most of this morning's service. So, I need your help and your participation this morning um, so that we can get through the things that Claire has left behind for us to study. And the good news is, this is our service where you can go and look at God's Word in a way that suits you, so you can explore together in, in a way that suits you personally. So you haven't got to listen to me all morning. I'm sure that'll be a blessing. So, as we discovered last week, and as was explained... We've now started our new 10-week series as we begin to look at our vision and values. And if you've not already looked at our vision and values, um, you can pick yourself up a copy at the back of church on the information board uh, where we just explain a little bit more about what following God, loving each other, and offering hope to all means. And today, we're going to focus on one specific element of following God. And that's the statement that we find our identity and purpose through our relationship with God. And so we're going to be exploring that theme using the passages from Psalm 139 and Jeremiah 1. And as I said, let's explore together. So you're going to go off to different zones later on as we look at those passages together. So one of the key things that we're going to look at today and be thinking about is the fact that God made us. He is our creator and everything around us. And in Genesis, it says that God made humans and then he breathed his own breath into us and gave us life. And as Christians, we believe that God is the creator and sustainer of all things, all creation. So the universe, the earth, the animals, the plants, and us too. And he made our bodies. And, you know, if you think about it, they're quite complicated, aren't they? The way they work, and we know when sometimes things go wrong and we've got to go and get them fixed because otherwise they don't function properly. But every element is interconnected. (coughs) Hugely complex. (coughs) And just think how different the components are. How different is the eye to the toe? How clever is the brain? in giving commands to other parts of the body. So if we want to use that foot to go and kick that football, the message goes from the brain through the nerves and the foot moves. Incredible. And so we're going to start to think about some of those things later on in the service. But we're going to start our service and our time together today with a song that talks about God giving us breath. And so we're going to use that breath now to give worship back to him. Thank you.
Amen. Yes, Lord, we thank you that you do deserve all honour. You grant us blessings. And Lord, we give thanks that you are the giver of life. We thanks for the love that you pour out for each and every one of us. You are the giver of hope. You do restore us. And you mend the brokenhearted. So we pour out our praise to you this morning, Lord. And Lord, would you just send your Holy Spirit to be with us now as we continue our time together in fellowship. Would you be with each and every one of us as we go off to our separate groups and separate areas today as you minister your word to us. Be with us. Amen. 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 Please take a seat. So hopefully on the way in this morning, you'll have either been handed one of these or you'll have picked up one of these and a pen. Um, now don't worry, if you haven't, uh, there'll be time while I go through the notices to go off and, and grab one. And I'm just going to encourage you, whilst I'm going through the notice, if you haven't already done so, to fill this in. Uh, you don't need to put your name or anything on it, um, but if you just fill in the gaps where you can and answer those questions, and we're going to return to that in a short while. So, just some advance notices and dates for your diary. So, a reminder that next Sunday will be our communion service. Um, so, that's in, in the morning at 10.30. And then the week after, on Sunday the 15th of May will be our Ignite service. Now, that's going to be a very special service because we're actually going to be joining with the Baptist Union, the wider family of Baptist believers, as we live stream their service from the annual conference. And so we're going to live stream that up here in church and the Ignite team will then take the younger ones downstairs as they have a time of fun together. Uh, because we are going to be live streaming that service, we won't be offering that on Zoom uh, on the 15th. Uh, but I do encourage you to come. It will be a great time. And I know from last year's service, there was some amazing worship, amazing testimony, and some amazing praise. So uh, do come along and take part in that. Um, for our members, um, I notice that our AGM will take place on Monday the 16th of May at 7.30pm here in church, where we'll spend time reviewing church life over the last year and also praying about the future and what is to come. Also at the AGM, we need to vote in our new leaders. And so um, we'll be voting in, hopefully, Sally. Sally Lees, who's been nominated to join the leadership team. And we also need to reaffirm Russ into leadership. And we also need to uh, affirm John as treasurer. Uh, so if you're a member and, and you can't make that meeting, uh, postal votes are available. So come and see me after the service and I can arrange a postal vote to be given to you. Uh, we do need to get those postal votes back by the Sunday the 15th, so I need them back in by Sunday the 15th. And hopefully, if you are a member, you've received an email about that already. Looking a bit further ahead um, in the diary, um, you may have noticed on the way in to church, we've got some notice up, reminding you of the coffee morning that's taking place on Wednesday the 18th of May here at church, 10.30. Uh, and that's raising funds for the BMS Ukraine appeal. And then another date, a little further ahead even, fit, even so, is uh, Thursday the 26th of May, uh, and hopefully we've got a slide for this coming up on screen, which is the Thy Kingdom Come. That's a Nottingham City Prayer event that's taking place at Trent Vineyard at 7.30, where Christians from across the city are going to be coming together and praying for our city of Nottingham, and that will start a whole series of prayer events that are, are going to be taking place Finally, one last thing, and that's thank you. Thank you to those of you that came in yesterday uh, and helped with Russ tidying up uh, and doing some maintenance and cleaning and clearing out. Now, I believe um, we've got another date coming up as well. Um, is it next Saturday, Russ? Yep, yeah, so there's some coming in tomorrow, Monday, tomorrow, uh, and there's some coming in on Saturday. So if you can help with that, if you let Russ know, and it'd be much appreciated. So thank you to all of those that uh, have been involved with that. Okay, that's the notices done. So hopefully you've had time to fill those sheets in. But before we do, there's one other thing we need to do. So if you were here with us last week, you'll remember that each week in our series, we're going to be choosing three streets in the local area that we're going to be praying for. And this week, the streets are Vernon Road, 
Claire Close and Francis Grove. And we're going to be praying for the residents of those streets later on in the service. Right, that's the notices done. So, the next challenge. So, hopefully, you've all filled in these sheets. My question's about yourself. So, here's the challenge. Do you think anybody else here today, in any of those columns, has written the same thing as you? And so I'm going to give you a few minutes now to go and find out. And ideally, I want you to go and speak to somebody you've not spoken to before. And I want to see if you can find nine matches on your sheet. Now, that might mean going to nine different people. Okay? You ready? Let's go. Okay, if people could go back to their seats. Okay, it's good there's a lot of conversation going off, but let's, uh, let's come back together as we, as we carry on. So, did anybody put swimming? Anybody put swimming? Claire put swimming on her form before, uh, before she left us. I, I don't think many people uh, would put... Uh, one person put swimming. Do you like swimming in cold lakes? No, I didn't think so. No, not many people would put that they like cold water swimming. Um, so, put your hand up if, if you manage to get at least one match. Yeah, okay. Anybody with two? Three? Four? Five? Six? Oh, not many. Seven? Eight? So seven. Seven is the most that we, we managed to find matches on. I'll tell you what, there was some good breakfast this morning. There was a young lady over there who had a bacon butty. I wish I'd had a bacon butty this morning. So as you can see, we're all very different. Yeah, there's a few things where we're similar. We might have the same likes and we like to do the same things. But, you know, God created us as unique individuals. And the point of that exercise was that, you know, we're, we're all very different. And we only asked nine questions there. You know, if we were to look at even harder questions and look at, at, at more distinct things like fingerprints or DNA, we'd see that God created it all uniquely different. And so we're going to read, well actually we're not going to read because we've got a video, we've got a, a, a Lego video um, of Psalm 139. So hopefully if the technology works, there we go. Let's watch this together. Psalm 139. Lord, you have examined me, so you know all about me. You know when I sit down and when I get up. You know my thoughts before I think them. You know where I go and where I lie down. You know everything I do. Lord, you know what I want to say even before the words leave my mouth. You are all around me, in front of me, and behind me. I feel your hand on my shoulder. I am amazed at what you know. It is too much for me to understand. Your spirit is everywhere I go. I cannot escape your presence. If I go up to heaven, you will be there. If I go down to the place of death, you will be there. If I go east where the sun rises, or go to live in the west beyond the sea, even there you will take my hand and lead me, your strong right hand will protect me. Suppose I wanted to hide from you and said, surely the darkness will hide me, the day will change to night and cover me. Even the darkness is not dark to you, the night is as bright as the day, darkness and light are the same. You created every part of me. You put me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because you made me in such a wonderful way. I know how amazing that was. You saw my bones grow as my body took shape, hidden in my mother's womb. You saw my body grow each passing day. You knew that I was there. You saw me before I was born. All the days planned for me were written in your book before any of them ever began. 
Your thoughts are beyond my understanding. They cannot be measured. If I could count them, they would be more than all the grains of sand. And when, when I, I wake, wake up, up, I am, I am still, still with you. And then we're just going to look at another reading today, which is uh, just a short one from Jeremiah. Uh, and that's 1 verses 4 to 10. The word of the Lord came to me saying, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. Alas, sovereign Lord, I said, I do not know how to speak, I am too young. But the Lord said to me, do not say I am too young. You must go to everyone I send you to and say whatever I command you. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you and will rescue you, declares the Lord. Then the Lord reached out his hand and touched my mouth and said to me, I have put my words in your mouth. See today, I appoint you over nations and kingdoms to uproot and tear down, to destroy and overthrow, to build and to plant. Thanks be to God for those words. So, we're going to go now into our different zones. And just uh, a refresher, a reminder, if if you've not been with us before, where they are. So, we've got the word zone, which is right at the back of the church. If you see Dick waving his hand there, where you can explore some commentaries. And there's some pens and paper there if you want to to make notes. We've got the colour zone. If you want to do some colouring in and reflection, you can do so over there. Uh, And then we've got the quiet zone, which is just in the vestry at at the back of church. And as you go in, you'll see we've got some prayer labyrinths. So feel free to pick one of those up and uh, spend some time in quiet reflection, working your way and praying your way through that. And then downstairs, we've got the busy zone. And we've got a specific focus this week. I want you to do a self-portrait. So this could could get very interesting. So um, hopefully you'll share those when, when you come back. Um, And you can make those out of Play-Doh, Lego, craft, pencils, however you want. I'll leave it to you. So um, I think there's some mirrors down there where you can have a look, or you might want to use your iPhone uh, and try and draw a picture of you. So before I send you away, I'll just pray for you all. Lord, I thank you that you made us all in uniquely different ways. And Lord, we give thanks that as a part of that uniqueness, we also have a uniqueness in the way that we learn best. So, Lord, as we go off now to explore your word in a way that suits us, would you just meet with us and would you just reveal something new to us today? In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So, 15, 20 minutes or so, and then we'll come back together. Okay. Okay, I think uh, we've just about got everybody back in the room. Feel free to stay where you are. Don't feel that you need to go and sit back where you were before. Um, You can stay in your groups. You can carry on colouring if that's what you want to do. Um, I'm just going to wait for for Russ. um, And we'll share with you some of the things that uh, have been going off downstairs. So hopefully you managed to spend some time just reflecting on God's word and scripture as you you stood it in the various ways. And, um, you know, just as you go away, just think about a couple of questions. You know, what stood out to you from the stories that you you read today? And and perhaps through reading uh, and through reflecting, you've got questions. And that's fine. If, If you're going away and you've got questions that are unanswered, then feel free to continue exploring. Exploring your home groups. Have conversations with one another uh, later in the week when you, when you meet as home groups. Um, so do feel free to carry on looking at that scripture in, in the week ahead. Um, do we have those, Russ? There we go. Right, so can anybody guess who that is? I think that's really good. I think we've got some more as well. Happy face there. Oh, wow, I like that one. That's very good. Somebody with blonde hair. Oh, 
that's an interesting one. Yeah, we can just about make out the portraits in those. So, and there'll be a few more, so we'll try and put those onto the, uh, the Facebook page later, and you can go on, you can have a look at what everybody's uh, been doing. So let's just take a, a moment to bring it all together as we just reflect on our time together this morning. So, I don't know, when we filled in these sheets as we came in, one of the questions was something that we're good at. And maybe for some of us, we find it really easy to say what we're good at. But maybe for others, we find it difficult. Maybe for some of us, we find it easy to look in the mirror and draw a self-portrait. But maybe for others, we really struggle to look in the mirror. Maybe we've been put down in the past. Maybe we've been told unkind thoughts. But you know, God thinks we're all beautiful. So no matter what you've been told, if you've been told you're no good at this, or you're no good at that, or something about your appearance, you know, to God it really doesn't matter. He loves you. You know, often we can see just the bad stuff, can't we? Or we can compare ourselves to people in unhealthy ways. But, you know, it's not how God sees us. Because he created each one of us individually. When we were knitted together in the womb, as we read in that scripture, he knew, he knew already. He knew what you were going to be doing this morning. He knew I was going to be here this morning. I didn't, but he did. And so, we can take great confidence in that. So those times when you're perhaps feeling a little low, those times when you're feeling a little lost, just remember that God made you as you are, and he made you with a purpose. As we read in Jeremiah. And you know, it might be a different purpose in different seasons. So it might be at different stages in your life, you've got different things that you need to focus on. And that's fine. God will lead you where he sees fit. I don't know if any of you have seen the film, uh, Chariots of Fire. I quite like running. And I've got a lot of, a lot of time for Eric Liddell. A very brave man, because he went out and he said, I'm not going to run this race because it's on a Sunday. And that's my time for God. And as a result, he didn't enter that event. He had to run another event. And if you watch the film, you'll see the outcome. And in the film, he's quoted as saying that uh, God made me fast. And when I run, I feel his pleasure. And God did make him fast. And it's a great story, and I'm not going to spoil it for those that haven't seen it. But actually, that wasn't how Eric Liddell saw his purpose for God. Because what Eric Liddell actually said was, God made me for China. Because he was born of missionary parents that lived in China, and then he went on after that Olympics to go and spread the gospel in China. So, my challenge for you today and the week ahead as as you go is just to consider, what did God make you for? Because, you know, as it says in Ephesians, we are God's handiwork, created in Christ to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. So, before we close in worship, let us pray. Lord, we we give thanks for that wonderful life that you've given us. We give thanks that we're not all the same, that we are different and we can enjoy and celebrate those differences. Lord, we give thanks that you know our innermost thoughts, even before we do. 
Lord, we thank that you do give us purpose. And through purpose, you give us meaning. Lord, we pray for those today that couldn't be with us as we shared this time together. We pray for those in our fellowship that continue to be unwell, that continue to face challenges of ill health. Lord, we pray that they might know your peace this morning. We pray that as they suffer, that they may turn to you and they may get rest, they may get healing. And Lord, we also pray particularly this morning for Claire. Pray for Claire and her family as they grieve the loss of Claire's grandmother. Lord, we give thanks that they will receive some comfort in knowing that she lived a life for Christ. And Lord, we just pray that you would have your arms around them this coming week and that you would support them as they grieve. Lord, as we go into the week ahead, we think particularly of those streets in our local area, Vernon Road, Clare Close and Francis Grove. Lord, we pray that they would know something of the message that we've been sharing this together this morning. Lord, we, we know there are many that are lost. There are many that desire and seek a purpose. We know there are many people that have abandoned you. But in one thing we're certain, you do not abandon your people. And you have never abandoned them. So Lord, we desire that they may come to know that and they may come to know you. Lord, also as it comes to the end of Ramadan, we pray for Muslims. We pray that they might one day know the true story of Jesus, the true story of redemption and freedom. God, would you just help us to discover what you've made us for? For you give us meaning and purpose, and for that we give thanks. In Jesus' name, amen. And so we're going to wrap up our time together now as we sing once again. Uh, So please do feel free to stand up and join in. Thank you.
giving us life, filling us with love, and setting us free from sin that we might live in you. Lord, take our lives and reveal to us our identity. Encourage us to fulfill the purpose that you have set aside for us and accept the work of our hands this coming week. As we leave this place, would you give us your peace and renew us in the service of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you everybody. And a reminder that we will also have coffee after the service next week. God bless you all.